everybody. Welcome to Barber Dave's Barbershop at Home for an afternoon shave. Uh, spent most of the morning uh, working on the car. And of course, I picked the hottest day of the year. It's going to be right around 104, 105 today. So quick shower and shave in the afternoon to get ready for the Zoom call. So we're going to do a quick uh, straight shave today. Um, the soap we'll be using today is the Palmolive Shave Stick. Kind of an old vintage stuff we've had for a while. Um, then we'll also be using the Tetalus by Essence, better known as the Wraith, and it's got a ProGuard blade in it. Before I forget, right down here you'll see the barber pole with the cowboy on it, cowboy hat on it. Please click on that to like and subscribe. To all of our channel videos it helps out the TSC it helps out my channel as well uh, to get it more exposed to everybody and uh, also throughout the video you'll see various folks up here the first one we'll talk about in just a second because he's a uh, I sponsor his channel but like most sponsorees they never get enough they never get enough so we're going to go into that as well. Got a Zoom call tonight. And then we will be watching the Eclipse. The thing I love about shave sticks is they're easy. They travel really well. And then in the case of Palmolive or Arco or even, even the new Crema ones, they do real well. Uh, we're using a Sorrentino Corleone brush today. And speaking of Corleone or Corleone, however you want to say it, uh, if you have Paramount Plus and, uh, and you have access to it, watch the series called The Offer. It is absolutely tremendous. And it's the real story behind how The Godfather got made. And after you watch it, you will have an entirely new appreciation for that movie um, because it was wrought with problems and it barely got made. A little bit more water. So the sponsor I'm talking about is Nurse Dave. Hey, Nurse Dave, how are you, my buddy, my pal? He's uh, recovering from some medical procedures, and he's doing very, very well. However, on his last video, he complained that I had promised to bring him a more eloquent sign uh, for, uh, for Hombre's Barbershop sponsoring his channel. And Because uh, right now, I mean, all I could do is print it out and send it to him. But he hasn't kept the paper in very good order. I think he... Um, I think he crumples it up and throws it in a drawer every day. So he started uh, whining about me not uh, having a, a better thing for him, which is in process. However, what he fails to say is as a sponsored person, he also receives swag. And when we were in Las Vegas, I gave him the ultra-exclusive, very rare, very limited quantities of Ombre's Barbershop shave soap and aftershave, which is made by CBL. So he has a physical part of the barbershop with him, but apparently that wasn't good enough. So we are making him something now that may require a couple of deliveries. So we'll see how he likes that. Just kidding with you, Dave. Well, not really. And the Tedalus today has a, um, I think there's two shaves on the Feather Pro Guard. And we'd like to welcome Gear Noor to the 333 Club. And actually, he is one of the exclusive, as as myself, is part of the 333S Club. That means that we actually bought the stand as well. And it's awesome because it holds it holds the razor in almost a anti-gravity state. You can use it as a knife to 
poke somebody with, and then if somebody breaks into your into your shaved end, you can bonk them with this. So it's a very multi-use type of thing. And if you haven't gotten this razor yet, um, what are you waiting on? The initial run was only 333 and you need to get it. I guarantee if you are a straight razor shaver, you will love this. And I haven't even tried it with an injector or a DE blade. I've just used the Feather Pro Guard, and I love it. Now, I take that back. I did try a Feather Pro and a Feather Pro Super, and they're just a little too much for me. I will probably be buying another one of these for the shop. Currently I use a Ralph Ost and sometimes a Feather Pro Guard, I mean a Feather uh, DX. But I just love this razor so much that I'll probably be getting one for the shop as well. I don't know how I would describe the Palmolive scent. Um, kind of a fougere, I guess, light. And uh, it's been around forever. I don't even know if it's obtainium anymore. I've got about five of them. Many people that are DE shavers would agree that the ASD2 <laughs> is one of those DE razors that gives a wonderful shave. And almost a, a no-brainer shave. And I'm not saying that that a removable blade straight razor is easy by any means, but but if you take this razor and you're already a straight razor shaver um, and you get used to the angle and everything else, it becomes one of those types of razors where you don't even have to think about it. And that's very rare for a straight razor. Because usually with a straight razor, you have to keep complete concentration almost at all times. This one, though, is very intuitive. And having used a straight razor for a long time. I definitely would stick to my gun saying that it is the closest 
to an actual straight razor of anything uh, on the market. So yeah, am I a fanboy? Yeah. And, you know, I guess it's manufactured in, uh, in Asia. So is 99.9% .9 of everything you own. Um, but all the design work is done in Europe, I believe. Switzerland, I think. And I would even go so far as to say it's almost the ease of a DE in a straight razor. Now you can't say that about any straight razor. You can't say that about any Shavette or in this case, a removable blade straight razor. And I know a lot of guys will still call this a Shavette. Fine, I don't see it that way. It's, it's too high quality. It's just too easy to use, and the quality is just tremendous. And honestly, if you were to close your eyes and somebody was to hand you this and you didn't know what it was, I honestly believe that you would be hard-pressed not to know that it's not just a regular straight razor. Now you can't say that about a Shavette. Can't say that about the Feather DX, SS, or AS, whatever they got them now. But that's just my opinion. But I've also been straight shaving for a long time. A little bit of cleanup. Now, one thing I will say for this, is you have to be a little bit more careful on cleanup for the uh, Because the blade gap, or not the blade gap, but the uh, the bevel is much, much thinner because it's a removable blade. But all the same things that you can do. with a straight, including the flat blading, are there. So again, if you haven't considered it, it's not a cheap razor, but if you haven't considered it, the Essence by Titleist is a, just a wonderful piece of uh, machinery. And as I said, if you get the stand, and get the stand, don't waste your time. Just get the stand. I mean, look at that. It's a work of art. Anyways, enough of the sales pitch. And no, I do not get sponsored or do I receive anything from Tetalus. That was bought with good old hard work and American barber money. And we're using Paraso Alum. And those of you that have been watching know that my box finally self-destructed. Uh, Parasso, hello. Little box would be nice.
And we're going to be using Thayer's Lemon today. Or as Nurse Dave likes to say, no name lemon. And we'll let that dry down a little bit. We're going to be using our aftershave for our aftershave and DE or uh, EDT today because we're not really going anywhere. And unfortunately, I do not have smell a vision on the uh, on the Zoom calls. And by the way, right here, www.theshavingcadre.com. It's also written right over there. Why aren't you over there? Come and join us. It's a great forum, wonderful people. And the announcement for the 2023 TSC Con is not too far off. Things are being worked on. We've already got the location set, just some logistics. Uh, once again, our soap for today was the Palm Olive Shave Stick. Uh, you saw the Sorrentino Corleone brush. And then for the aftershave and EDT, even though it's just aftershave, is Roselle. Uh, you can get it online, uh, or you should be able to find it for your, from your barber. Uh, it is amazing. Um, probably one of the finest um, aftershaves on the market. Uh, doesn't give too huge of an alcohol hit, but it feels very slick on the face. It feels oily. And it is naturally made. Um, a lot of natural ingredients in it. Uh, it's made in Holland, and Roselle has tons and tons of uh, different barbering products for yourself. Their shave tonic is phenomenal. In fact, there's a couple of companies they make shave tonic for that are barbershops that I won't go into because the barbershops probably wouldn't want you to know that it's not their brand. It's actually Roselle. Uh, we're going to be using a little bit of talc today. Oops. Okay, maybe we're going to be using a lot of talc today. This is uh, Panade talc. That's eh, not that bad. Not too bit of a too big of a talc cannon today. Okay, maybe it is. Uh, once again, our soap for today was the Palm Olive Shave Stick. Uh, you saw the Sorrentino Corleone brush, and then for the aftershave and EDT, even though it's just aftershave, is Roselle. Uh, you can get it online, uh, or you should be able to find it for your, from your barber. Uh, it is amazing. Um, probably one of the finest um, aftershaves on the market. Uh, doesn't give too huge of an alcohol hit, but it feels very slick on the face. It feels oily, and it is naturally made. Um, a lot of natural ingredients in it. Uh, it's made in Holland, and Roselle has tons and tons of uh, different barbering products for yourself. Their shave tonic is phenomenal. In fact, there's a couple of companies they make shave tonic for that are barbershops that I won't go into because the barbershops probably wouldn't want you to know that it's not their brand. It's actually Roselle. Uh, we're going to be using a little bit of talc today. Oops. Okay, maybe we're going to be using a lot of talc today. This is uh, Panade talc. That's eh, not that bad. Not too bit of a too big of a talc cannon today. Okay, maybe it is. But it's warm, and we need it. And then we're just going to splash on some more uh, Roselle uh, because it's that good and that's it so hope everybody had a blessed sunday uh, for an afternoon shave we're probably going to do try to get three shaves in today and don't forget jasper the duck is here along with maurice the towel holder yes i'm naming things i don't know why but anyhow come and see us at the shaving cadre www.shavingcadre.com see all the guys that were up here and uh Give Nurse Dave a little bit of crap because he has unobtainium in his hands in a bamboo wooden bowl in the wonderful soap, the smells of the Southwest. And he also even has this, the aftershave tonic from CBL. But yet, apparently, that doesn't that's not included in the sponsorship I give him. So, inquiring minds want to know. Anyway, and I'm just flooded with Dave. Uh, I'm Barbara Dave. Thanks for joining us at Barbara Dave's Barbershop at Home. I hope everybody has a blessed Sunday and get outside tonight and watch that total lunar eclipse. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.